Welcome to my studio. Uh, it's a very cold day here in northeastern PA and uh, have the heaters cranking here in the studio. Uh, hopefully I can get some work done this week because I have a lot of work, a lot of miniature painting. And of course we have our Oathmark game that we want to film. Julie is feeling a little bit better. Um, so today uh, Julie and I were discussing science fiction games, you know, what kinds of sci-fi games we want to play, and I'm thinking about what kind of terrain I need. Now, um, my channel is all about building stuff, and it's about building with recycled materials. So obviously, uh, this terrain that I want to build is going to be from recycled materials. And uh, I have plenty of outdoor terrain, and I have some terrain from Dead Zone. It's very good, actually. Uh, it's cheap and you know it's easy to to put together and paint but i want to be able to make something um that i can customize to my games and julie and i were thinking we were looking at five parsecs from home a sci-fi game that we want to try out and there's a bug hunt scenario that takes place inside of a facility of sorts and i've always wanted to play a sci-fi game inside a facility right or inside a starship kind of thing like space hulk um and i know way back in the days of battlefleet gothic uh my buddies and i whenever we had a boarding action we had a separate little board very small with some sci-fi terrain to represent the inside of the ship for 40k and then we would take care of our fights there and then go back to the sort of the space battle. That was one way we did it. So I want to do something like that. I want to do like the interior of a starship or a refinery or something. And what I want to do are modular walls that I can take apart, store on the shelves and uh, walls that come together so that we can set up, you know, a small board. It's uh, two feet by two feet or three feet by three feet, something small. Um, that we can play our games. And of course, I have a lot of uh, sci-fi models that I want to unbox for you guys. Julie and I will be going over these sci-fi models uh, in our bi-weekly talk. Uh, we have one coming this Sunday, and I'm thinking we may start to unbox some of these uh, sci-fi stuff. And this is a box of Necromunda models. Uh, Necromunda, are, they're excellent models. I love them. And I can use them in all kinds of games, not just if we decide to play Necromunda, then I have a couple of factions. But um, these models I can use in any sci-fi game, kind of mix and match with all the other sci-fi stuff that I have. So let's go to the bench now, and I'm going to show you guys the first prototype of a wall, sci-fi wall we are on my workstation and this is the first prototype wall that I came up with okay and again this is going to be like the inside of a starship or a refinery or whatever but one of the conditions that I put to myself is that the doors have to open up okay and this is a sliding door not exactly pretty but very functional this opens up and closes quite nicely okay so here's the other side and there so now I have a sliding door to simulate you know one of the um, electric doors in the complex now uh, the this piece is made from cardboard I started with this and that's the idea it has to be all recycled materials I started with this and then I use um, a thinner card as like the lid because this is actually this wall is made in two halves and so one of them is this lighter card and one of them is this thicker cardboard now it doesn't end there because I use craft sticks and make a skeleton inside the wall a skeleton that makes the, the cardboard really rigid and then I use my hot glue and all that. So as you can see, it's a very thick uh, terrain piece. And so once I do that, the uh, craft sticks also form a track so that I can open and close the door. And there you can kind of see, I put a plastic bit 
to simulate like the little uh, box to open the door and there's a black uh, uh, a little uh, bit here as well right and then on this side and this is the side that really opens um, it has the little handle it's not exactly pretty I'm gonna repaint that but it, it works you know and that's what I want some of these walls are gonna have opening doors and I'm gonna do um, double doors as well I'm gonna have at least one wall with double doors it'll be longer and then the rest of these walls will have um, either open doorways or doors that are locked and somehow I'm gonna be able to remove them so we can simulate like the door has opened right but uh, some of the walls will have won't have this mechanism because I want to be able to mass produce these and these walls are gonna take longer to make you know when uh, when I'm doing these sliding doors and stuff um, but it's a real cool feature to have and it's not necessary in gaming really but it's just a cool feature to have you know sliding doors um, and of course I have my piping now once I make the walls right and there is this is pretty solid it, it really is very solid and I actually add a couple of washers to to increase the weight uh, that helps so that things don't move around too much once the wall is finished right I start to add all this and this piece here comes from uh, an old juice bottle and I love cutting up juice bottles especially when they have these kinds of things I save those juice bottles and I cut up this plastic here and then I get something like this okay and this would make a really good door actually I, I would have to flatten it a little bit but this would make a cool door as well and have like um, make the doors in plastic rather than the uh, card that I used I used the card and then I have craft sticks kind of strengthening the card and and I mean it works it's fine but I think the the doors would come out really nice out of this plastic so I used my juice bottles cut it up and there I have some of the detail for the wall then I take things like um, old sprues and this is excellent and I start adding my old sprues and I'm gonna paint maybe some lights here or maybe some gauges I don't know um, and and just add random details and these sprues make excellent detail they uh, they kind of remind me of like these electrical conduits so there'll be electrical wires and stuff running in there and fuse boxes right so it kind of reminds me of that and um, so that's it so this piece is pretty much done now for the connecting pieces and that's where the trick is going to come um, these pipes I'm probably going to use my bits right these plastic bits these will act as connectors so I will glue on one side the connectors and then on the other wall that has the pipes I'll, I will be able to connect the pipes you know to each other by doing that I may have to trim them a little bit or whatever um, or I can just leave them like this and not have to connect them just kind of maybe continue some pipes here um, all of the walls are going to be slightly different um, they're all going to be slightly different but what I may do is I actually have a bunch of magnets I'm going to glue a couple of magnets to each of the walls and then this way they'll connect now there may be a little space in there whatever I'll find a way to deal with that um, but with the magnets I can have um, you know a, a system that is magnetized and then it won't move as much and I'll have to I'll have to design something on the board itself maybe when I design the board for this um, but I'll have different walls I'll have straight walls and have maybe some uh, corner walls some L's some cross walls right and this way I can make like a little um, interior for a starship or refinery or whatever and this means that I'll have to do a little bit of terrain maybe some computer consoles and things like that to kind of like scatter terrain to, to make things interesting some uh, crates I have some crates and things and 
there it is. But that's the most important feature is the sliding door. And I'm going to open the door and there he is. You know, he does fit quite nicely into the hatch in the hatch and that's pretty cool. And here's an Imperial Guard. Okay, so they, they fit quite well and you can kind of push your figures through um, to simulate, you know, them going through and everything. Um, the inside here, mostly it is sealed. Okay, so you don't see, uh, except for up here, you're not really gonna see that. I'm gonna paint that. And that has the track. I made the track there so that this can slide open and close. I'm gonna be painting that. Again, it's not the prettiest, but it works. It is some sci-fi walls. I'll be working on that project slowly and slowly kind of updating where I am. Um, I'm finishing up other projects as I go along and I will be updating, you know, how those projects go. So thank you very much and uh, hope you like it. Now, if you, if any of you like that uh, kind of terrain stuff that I'm building, let me know in the comments and I'll have sort of a, when I'm building one of the walls, I'll have like a little step-by-step uh, -step process how I build a wall. But I'm not gonna do that if people are not really interested because it just takes a while to do those kinds of videos. So let me know. And uh, if not, I'll just show the finished product and we'll uh, be playing on the table with those uh, walls very soon. Have a good one, guys. Mm -hmm.